Am I, 39F, being selfish by leaving my husband, 44M, at home for Christmas? Throwaway account because I can't believe I'm doing this but I need a neutral opinion. Here goes. Context. My, 39F. Parents and I live across the country from each other. My older brother and his family live closer to them. But still requires a flight to visit. My dad, 73, passed away from a year-long battle with pancreatic cancer in mid-September. My mom, 73, has also been in the process of diagnosing why she has increasing memory issues. Specifically with language understanding words and remembering names of everyday things. Right after he died, my mom's cognitive tests showed a significant decline and she is currently in the process of being diagnosed with either Alzheimer's or dementia. My brother, 44M, and I were by our dad's side when he passed away and my husband, 44M, flew in quickly after. We then had a memorial service about a month later in late October. Where lots of extended family attended and it was lovely. To top it off, the week before Thanksgiving, my friend, co-worker, 42M, died unexpectedly. I'm devastated. Thanksgiving my husband and I stayed local and had a nice, low-key holiday with his parents. My mom, brother and much of my family got together on the other side of the country. Christmas plans I have two weeks off work. It's my mom's 74th birthday on 12 23rds. It's also my 40th birthday on 1 over 1. My brother and his family plan to go for an extended time. Just as I would ideally like to. To be with her at this time and to work on getting the house ready to be sold in the next 36 months and figure out if she needs to move into memory care and where, etc. Dilemma. It's very expensive to fly across country for Christmas and my husband is very practical with spending money. However, I don't really care how much it costs right now my mom needs me. I also need my mom. I'm reeling from two deaths in two months. Plus her biggest challenge is communicating and using technology. So even FaceTime is tricky. And I don't know how much time we have left with her. My husband is saying I'm being selfish for leaving him alone at Christmas and deal with the dog. And house. He thinks it's enough that my brother is going to be there with her. And that we were just there twice. For my dad's final breaths and subsequent funeral. So we should go some time in January or February husband will technically not be alone while i'm gone his brother with a wife and kids and parents live nearby and another brother also wife and kids will be visiting for three weeks i've said he could come with me and we figure out who can watch the dog his response is that it's two dollar dollar and he doesn't view it as a vacation since the bed in my old room is small etc he has suggested that we should go away somewhere for a few days since I have the time off work. But obviously not across the country to my mom's house. I could structure the travel dates to leave for 10 days and still see his family that's visiting. And be back before my birthday. So we'd still have time together while I'm off work, celebrate together. Regardless. To him if I go I'm being selfish. But I disagree because it's not about him right now. So should I book a ticket or am I a jerk who should put my husband higher up on my priority list? He doesn't view it as a vacation. Um yeah. Because it's not a vacation? It's a trip to visit your mom. Who lost her husband? You lost your dad just recently. Your mom is ill. Who knows how much time you have left with her? Her ability to recognize you might quickly fade too. Your husband really wants to put a dollar sign on this? On spending the maybe last Christmas with your mom while she is still able to know who you are? He thinks it's enough that my brother is going to be there with her. What about your feelings? You want to be there. That alone is more than enough reason to go. Selfish for leaving him alone at Christmas and deal with the dog and house.
WTF? Is he a little kid? I would probably be very blunt with him. I don't care how much it costs. I want to see my mom so I will. I need you to support me in this. If you don't want to join me, that's fine. But don't you dare trying to make me feel guilty for going to see her. She is ill. I don't know how much time we have left with her. I'm still grieving the loss of my dad and my friend and being with my mom will give me comfort for that. Do my feelings matter so little to you? That you are bothered by how it's a little more expensive or that you will be alone on Christmas? I can't believe you call me selfish. Please take a look in the mirror. 100% go see your mom. Your 44-year-old husband will just need to pull on his big boy pants and feed the dog and vacuum. Without you, if he can't manage that, you have bigger issues than you realize. Your husband is the one being selfish. You and your brother need to get over there and get things sorted. All the paperwork, the POA, the house, a team game plan for your mother's care. Plus be together this first Xmas after the loss of your father. I wish I had no experience in this but your time is limited to make an execute a plan. When I was in a similar sitch, my then husband was about to be deployed for a year. Had the kids and dogs. I had to go to my GMA for three most to get her well enough to travel so she could at least get moved. Closer to where family lived. I spent seven years trying to help manage things from afar before she finally passed and it was all of the stuff. Selling a house in state A. Organizing care in state B. Trying to run my household and work my job and make frequent trips to pull things out of the fire. You are in for some tough stuff here and your husband could be quite a lot more supportive. I'm sorry you're dealing with all of this. Go to your mom. Spend all the time you can while she still knows who you are and can make decisions and get things aligned. You won't regret it. If I could do my dad's final months again I would. Go. You will not regret it in the long run. Just please go see your MoMA. Your husband is a jerk and a selfish baby. He can't look after himself and a dog. Go to your mom's. I'm speaking as someone who recently lost my mother. At 87. And had a similar situation. She had a fall which seemed to trigger a rapid increase in dementia symptoms which I now understand from her experience it's quite common for a shock or stress incident to exacerbate dementia. I cherish the time I spent with her for her last year. Yes she needed help from me and my brothers. But we also had moments of fun closeness, sharing. She could still have conversations about the past quite vividly. And although she didn't understand why she needed us around more, she loved seeing us. See your mother as often as possible. Your husband is quite honestly being the selfish one here. At 44 he is old enough to sacrifice a little of himself for your mother. He could very well be in need of care in the future. No you should go see your mom. It's so selfish for your husband to expect you to be alright and leave your old sick mother behind and be with him. Like yes at most times you should put your partner first but for this. You don't seem to have a lot of time left with your mom so you gotta make it count. He can be alone for half a month. If he loves you he should know the pain and grief you're going through. Tell him that you're going either way and to get used to it. Go to your mom. Hubby is near his family. He can deal with it for this Christmas. The husband should normally be at the top of the priorities list. However, this is not a normal time for your family. You aren't running off to have start some super fun family tradition without him. He is being incredibly selfish and insensitive to you and your family at a time when horrible. Things are happening with major life changes for the people you love. This is not a time for him to be a cheapskate because the next few months are going to be a lot of back and forth for you while you get your mom settled and make sure her affairs are all in order. 
He needs to wake up and realize that you need him now and since your dad already passed it will be his parents next. Hopefully they are healthy now and blah blah but the time will come you will have all these extra responsibilities and he'll expect you to be there for him. I'm begging you to please spend your time with your mom. Book that flight and don't give it a second thought. Your husband is being childish, selfish and petulant. Your family have some important conversations to get through and it's best to have them now while your mother can participate and enjoy having all of you together. Go. If you do not you will always regret it and resent your husband for it. Your husband is being the selfish one. Go. And if you do go make sure all reservations are locked down so he can't accidentally cancel them. OMFG my mouth dropped when I read he thinks you're being selfish. A long time ago I read an article where they interviewed a bunch of nurses about what people would say on their deathbed and everything they all said was they wish they spent more time with family. They wish they worked less etc. Basically now I ask myself if I'm having a hard time deciding to do certain things. What would be my deathbed wish be? Morbid I know. I'm certain yours would not be. I wish I stayed home with my husband that one Christmas to spend time with him instead of my mom who needs me. He should be putting your needs right now above his. I do think his behavior during this time will have repercussions on your marriage. Stay strong and do what you know you need to do. You need to go see your mom. And my condolences for your losses. Go ahead and ask his mom to see what she thinks about your 44-year-old baby being unable to keep the home and dog taken care of without you and leaving your declining recently widowed mother to your brother this holiday. Go see your mom and just remind him he's invited but choosing to stay at home when he tries to guilt trip you. I feel like you are arguing the emotional, which I agree with by the way. And he is arguing the logical. He has minimal emotions in this other than wanting to support you somewhat. Perhaps he's never lost someone close to him. Perhaps he's just an asshole. People travel during the Christmas period all the time let alone for the very emotional significant reasons you've just explained. Why don't you get to spend that money on yourself for once? To me honestly this would be a non-negotiable. Other than I'd potentially look at the extra costs and agree to give something up, work the extra shifts. Because you never regret spending memories like this with your family and processing the first. Christmas post the death of your father kind of feels priceless. No you are not selfish. You have your entire life to earn that money back but you only have a little time left with your mom and you and brother together. Tell your husband if it bothers him that much you'll doordash for extra cash when you get home. But you're going. He's being incredibly selfish and short-sighted. You should go be with your mom. You have no idea how much time you have left where she will remember you and it will be easier for everyone to be together to plan what the next step will be. If you go your husband may or may not resent it but I'm sure you will 100% resent him if you don't. A man in his 40s should be able to deal with a dog and a house for a couple of weeks. Big deal. You should spend time with your mom because by next Christmas she may not remember you. It's important. But I don't see any reason you couldn't make your visit shorter. Or make it sometime soon after Christmas. All this has been stress on him. Too. After all. A bit of downtime and maybe some fun together could be really great for you both. You need a break from all the heaviness. I'm not personally all that sentimental about Christmas. So I feel like your husband's suggestions are mostly reasonable. Try to identify the specific aspects that are most important to each of you and acknowledge the other person's perspective. Good luck. It's been a tough year. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.